All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here on the freedom table, and I, I've got the BCG thing going on right now. Um, so what we did is I bought four identical uh, Palmetto State Armory boat carriers. And one of the things that when I do my boat carriers and I look at them and I check them, and I'm not necessarily concerned about gauging all that stuff out, but one of the things that I do like to do is I like to check the crimp on this thing or the staking on the gas key. Now, in doing this, uh, I'm really not impressed with this one. Does it mean it's going to tear up? No. But this is pretty much how easy it is to take these things off. And I've actually already done these, but uh, they'll come right out. So what I want to do in this video real quickly is I want to show you guys how I do this. Now, I'm not saying that this is how you should do it. I'm just showing you how I do it, okay? So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to take these things off. I'm going to look at the screws. We'll make sure. Well, actually, they're still a little on the knurling side on those things. So these, the screws are nice. I like those. Uh, and what I'm actually doing is we're, I'm building uh, several bolt carriers. So this is one of the reasons why I have all these tools out here. So we're doing that. So what I want to do is I want to clean the surface off really, really good. Now, I don't know if they put the gasket sealant on there uh, in the assembly process at their plant, but what we are going to do, because the specs call for it, this is the Permatex Aviation Form A gasket right here. All right, so we are going to reset these screws. Also, the specifications on the drawings is the original. We're called for 60 pounds or inch pounds of uh, torque on these screws. I don't like doing that because I've actually stripped a couple of the uh, <laughs> screw heads off of this thing. And it's just something that uh, it's a pain in the ass if you uh, strip them off. Uh, then you have no screw head. Uh, I will show you this, man. The, the, <laughs> the gas hole down here uh, on the, uh, the gas key... Uh, the bottom hole is supposed to be 0.125, and this is very tight. Look at that. And they've got a tolerance of, I don't know, 0 0.005, which is 5,000. The uh, front hole, okay, on the gas key, uh, the outer hole is a 0 0.1805. So let's get a 0.180. I'm going to stick it in here, and I want you all to hear this. Watch. That's when I cover up the hole down here. Okay, see it doesn't do it right there, but it'll do it like that. Pretty neat. I got this thing way overexposed. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna reach over here and I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. Got these right here, love these guys. And we're gonna take our Permatex and we're gonna shake it up a little bit. And I am going to just take a little bit of that gasket sealer just like that, and I'm going to place it around the gas hole only, okay? Not around the screw holes. I'm not concerned about it getting into the hole because, trust me, at 20,000 PSI, you're not going to have any issues blowing it out. All right, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to take the gas key, I'm going to set it in place, just like that, and I'm just going to reinstall these screws. Now, what I do is... I like about a 50 to 40 inch pounds of pressure. I actually did this up at 60 yesterday. So we're gonna bring it down. I'm gonna run them at about 50, because that's more than enough. Now, I've talked to many professionals. Talk about the staking. You really don't need to stake these things uh, if you've got them torqued down and the gasket seal's on there. Uh, but I like to stake them. And here we go. Hold on one second. So let's go ahead. Cycle through this, that's 50 pounds, there's 50 pounds, inch pounds. Now I'm going to clean the excess off right here, very easy. Now here's the cool thing, this is a staking key, uh, what do you call it, stake deal for your gas key. I'm going to come in here, we're going to tighten that up a little bit, this, is this my right one? Nope, got the little wrench right here. We'll go ahead and I will tighten these up so you can see what's going on in there. And let me see if I can get the camera zoomed in enough so you can see the little pins. And I'll show you real quickly. All you're doing is this, this thing comes with little screws. This thing's set in there pretty tight. I got this, 
I think, from Midway USA, like $39. But what we're looking at is a screw tip that's just like that. It's very, it's pointed. And they've got replacement screws also. And all that's doing is it's going to apply just enough pressure to the metal on the gas key to give that staking that you really, really want. It, and it looks good. Now, I, again, this guy right here, if you can see it, this is the uh, cryptic coatings, probably one of the best <laughs> bolt carrier groups on the market. And that is ideal right there. So what we're going to do is, well, let's do this real quickly. Before we do anything, let's do a before and after. Okay. This is before. All right. And we'll do an after. So you shove that thing in there. And let's go ahead and zoom the camera in so you guys can see those little screws in there. All right, so you're seeing the screws in right there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little wrench right here. And I'm just going to start tightening this up. You can see that screw is hitting in there. And we're just deforming the metal enough to where it's going to imprint onto that screw head and we know that it's not going to go anywhere now somebody's going to be asking me about the, the uh, phosphate coating losing that I'm not really worried about that either but what I do know is that when I get done I will have my BCG absolutely positively staked properly so now let's just go ahead reverse this thing out And you know, guys, here's the fun part. <laughs> I'm not a, a professional, but what's fun is we love to learn together. And that's one of the best parts. I might... And there we go. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Does it match up with this guy right here? Heck yeah. I'm happy with that. So that's one of the ways you can stake it. Now, <laughs> if you don't have one of these things, you can put this thing in a vise, grab you a flathead screwdriver and knock the hell out of it, and you'll probably get the same effect. But with that being said, guys, this is a little bit of fun. Bolt carrier group maintenance. Uh, we're building a bunch of them just so we can have them around and uh, make sure they work. Let's go to Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.